the Lord explains, first fruits of the harvest, the wild wheat and the second harvest. Trumpet call of God. June 4, 2006, from Yahushua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, our Lord and Savior. The word of the Lord spoken to Timothy for all those who have ears to hear. Timothy began, My God and my Lord, I pray in the name of Him you've sent to us in love. He is the Spirit, your only begotten Son the mercy seat for those who have fallen from your graces. Return us to grace by the grace you've shared with us. Lord, I pray to you this day on behalf of all of us gathered here today. You have loved us and taken us out of the world, though we are yet in the world. You have saved us by the blood of your Son, we can never thank you enough for what you've done for us. We have believed your testimony, and you have poured your Spirit upon us, so we may know how to live in you and for you. We have become the first fruits of your love, sanctified by your Spirit, because of our belief and devotion to you. We believe, Lord, we love you, Lord, Lord, come and live fully in us. Please, Lord, establish us fully in your glory. Make us clean, lift us up from our stumblings. Lord, reside in your delicate temples. Keep us from temptation and deliver us from the evil one. O oh Lord, what can we say? What can we do to prove our love for you? Our gratitude, our devotion. O oh my God and my Jesus, fulfill your love in us. Come quickly, Lord, come quickly. Take us home, embrace your children. Father, return us to the garden. Set us upon the rock of your enduring promise. Eternal life with you, who has made us and remade us once again. Amen. Yahushua answered, O oh, beloved little flock, how I do love you, my first fruits of my seeds planted in my servant, now flourishing in you. Beloved little ones, I am coming. I shall indeed gather you up beneath my wings and carry you to heaven. Verily, verily, I say to you, I have already gathered you and bundled you together, my first fruits of the harvest who I shall offer to the Father. Beloved, understand the mercies of God and that part of Him which is also in me, which we have placed in you. I have given of myself, so shall you do as I have done. Share this gift. Bless those who curse you. Kindly treat those who mistreat and abuse you. Love your enemies, help those who are against you. Plant the seeds for the second harvest, for those left behind shall grow during the storm and be uprooted, toppled and trampled, but by no means shall they wither. They shall shine in the darkness, and I shall be their strength and comfort. These I must bring also. Behold, the Spirit of God endures for all time. His will be done on earth as it is in heaven. I have chosen and separated the wheat from the tares, and I will continue to do so. Even by these words shall it be done and come to pass. Behold, I have left 144,000 workers in the field, and they shall gather all who the Father has ordained to be gathered. By the power of His Spirit, fully established in them, shall they gather. All wild wheat shall be gathered. Never was this crop tares. Rather, they have only grown too close and amongst the tares, abiding in their shadow. They have been tamed and have come into the light, 
with the new understanding that indeed I am who I am. The lost have been found and refashioned in me. These shall be gathered also, the first fruits of God's mercy gathered from the storm of his fury. Lo, all who call on the name of the Lord in that day shall be saved. Behold, those who did not love their life in this world, even unto death, they have received life eternal. Woe unto those who have loved their lives in this world so much that they strove to save themselves. They are lost, given up to the flames of the Father's indignation, destroyed by the word and the brightness of my coming. The dark destroyed, the wicked blotted out. All is quiet in the kingdom of God. For those who sit at the right hand of his mercy seat. Lo, I am with you always, even to the end of this age and ever after, residing in the joy of my Father. Come and see, my beloved, who have believed without seeing. Look down upon the earth. Behold, the angels of heaven do continually ascend and descend upon the Son of Man reaping where others have sown, lifting up the newly redeemed of the Lord. For they now believe, because they have seen the power of God moving upon the face of the entire earth. Yea, even the heavens have been shaken. The wheat is gathered, the saints have been established in glory, and do follow the Lamb who turned into a lion, wherever he goes. Beloved, follow me. I will lead you into fountains of living waters, a well, a spring of love and life that never runs dry. Behold, I shall even recreate the entire world for you. You believed in me, and you remain in my love and will never depart again, nor can anyone snatch you from my arms. Come and share in my joy forever, even forever and ever, and know the mystery of God revealed, and the knowledge of creation. None are found lower than the angels. Amen and Amen.